Alright, welcome back everyone to another Summer's Revenge challenge video. Uh, last episode I attempted Iron Frog mode, uh, mode for the first time and I've not completed it at time of recording this audio. Um, so I'm working on some challenges in the uh, the final trophy which is called uh, Peacock's Provocation. And as you can see I'm working on this level, this is level 4 I believe, of the Iron Frog Gauntlet. And I guess what this does give me a chance to do is show off the other levels that I haven't yet got to. For example, I never got to this level in the uh, in my first Iron Frog Gauntlet attempt. I actually made a mistake. You can actually switch positions in level 3. You know, there's two positions that, uh, that Suma can sit at. But I didn't realise that at the time and I, I lost the level because I wasn't switching positions. The furthest I've got, incidentally, is level 9, so yeah, and I'm getting better. I'm, uh, I'm doing far better than I was previously, but I've, I've still yet to uh, to make it to the end. And uh, there's one or two levels that are particularly challenging, I'll show them off later. Obviously I can't show off level 10 because I've not got there yet. But overall, uh, it's nice to be doing some challenges. and. Uh, I guess the reason I'm doing these challenges is because I was I, I was looking about online for tips of that and people said oh you should um, you know do challenge levels to get practice at the levels you find challenging so I thought might as well record and uh, yeah get these done and then I can do them over and over for practice if need be. The thing is you've got to be very very quick I've only just now appreciated how quick you've got to be not not this footage but I guess after this footage was recorded, like when I was trying Iron Frog mode, it was only then I realised that, you know, you've actually got to, instead of admiring the shot that you just made, you've got to be thinking about the next shot, and I've been getting a bit better than that. I might be rusty because I've not played in a few days. I got a really, really bad headache after playing for like... I don't know, a few hours, so I was like, right, that's enough, and I've not, I've not, I've, I've obviously been away, so I didn't, uh, I didn't bother playing any more after that. Might get back to it today, who knows. But yeah, that's where we're up to in terms of my progress. Obviously, the aim with these challenges is to get aces on all of them, and uh, this is obviously the final uh, set of challenges, extreme mode, as it were. There we go, we're up to times 10. Challenge mode's actually quite fun, but quite... Well, it depends what level it is. Sometimes it can be quite fun, sometimes it can just be very, very frustrating. But, either way, we're uh, we're doing well here. I can't see our score. I think, surely we've hit the points tally by now. This was actually recorded live, and then I ditched the audio. So, did we actually complete it? We got... We got 10,000 extra points as a result of the mul the multiplication bonus, and as you can see, yep, as a result of that bonus, we've got the uh, the challenge score. So we'll have to go back and do the ace score at some point. But right now we're on the, the fifth level of Iron Frog Gauntlet, and as you can see, it's a dual uh, a dual line level. I actually don't have. I mean, I've lost it like once or twice, but I've not had too many issues with this. In comparison with, well, level six, levels level six and seven are probably the two I have a lot of issues with. Level one, actually, I've lost the most on, but that's I put that down to just the fact it's the first level and uh, it's what I play most. Therefore, there's more. I've got more of a chance of, uh, you know, failing at it. Either that, or I'm just bad. It's actually quite difficult, level one, in comparison with some of the other ones. At least that's what I found out. But yeah, my stats are currently show for Iron Frog Gauntlet, it's like, I think, 70 odd attempts, zero successes, so, yeah, it's not great. I, 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 it's obviously not impossible, it's just, there's a certain way you've got to play it. Some levels you've got to take a wee bit slower than others. So just to apologise, in some parts of this audio, things glitch out, presumably to do with the computer issues that I speak about in a moment. Here's filler audio for the part that was blank. When I'm playing it here, I'm not actually going that fast. Partly because, well, it's challenge mode and you gotta, you can't just eliminate any colour, you've gotta watch out for the multiplication bonuses, um, but also because, hang on a second, my, uh, my computer's all of a sudden 
had a bit of a hiccup and the lot of the footage was lagging. It's back again. Anyway, yeah, so Yeah, you gotta you gotta really focus what you're aiming at in challenge mode. I don't know what it is. Alright, well that's fine. Let's uh let's just continue. We're almost uh finished. One minute to go. And we'll see how uh we'll see how we do eventually. There's a uh, one of those cannons that we can get, but we've we have we have lost the cannon bonus. Instead I opted to go for another laser bonus. Ah oh, there we go, things are better. Right. There's, a, there's an explosion bonus if I get a red one. And there's another multiplication bonus, if I so desire. Of course, I think this is the first set of uh, challenge levels I've not done live, which is, I guess, pretty good going, because for things like... Well, I, I basically did all the adventure levels live. And in adventure mode and heroic frog mode, I generally opted to do post-com earlier. Like, I don't remember when I started doing post-com for um, adventure mode. Oh, we got the ace target there. I think it was around level 50 or so I started doing post-com. I think I got the ace target there because of the the chain bonus. I think that helped a lot. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, there you go. 172,000. Not bad. So, we got ace there. And I've opted to go for... What's this? Well, that's level 1 again, so I've opted to try level 1 again to try and get the uh, East score, and I failed. I shot a green at a line of blues. And uh, we've got the opportunity to get a piece of fruit, not bad. There we go. Oh, another piece of fruit. Watermelon, it looks like. Right. It's, uh... I don't know what makes level 1 so difficult. I think it's the fact that the further on the colours get, the less you got to aim at. Although when you get, you know, combos like that, it obviously makes it a lot easier. We should get another combo here. Nope. That's going to give us a chance to uh, close up the gap. Yeah, it's, it's... Sometimes you just have the game of your life on this level and sometimes you just fail epically. And then obviously the white and purple colours come along after a while. Either way we seem to be doing pretty well on this particular occasion. Obviously uh, we did well this occasion because I'm showing it. Um, it's kind of hard to explain how all the failed attempts went. You know sometimes I would have a good game and end up with a low score for some reason. Sometimes I would do badly and it would end up going down the plug before um, before I'd got the score required. Of course it's ace score we're going after, we've already completed this. Can we fit it through the gap? No we can't. I've opted to avoid going for the fruit. Never mind. I just got it then and there. More fruit. Can we get it? Just close up the gap there with a the blue. And we missed it. Yeah, fruit gives a lot of score. We should be close to ace. I think ace is 125k on this. Could be wrong. Got a nice explosion there. We'll try, we need to get another bonus. There we go. Well, times 11. That should help a lot. What I'm doing now is I'm trying to double up on solos. Oh, messed up there, but that's okay. We're at, what, 107,000. We've got times 12, that's obviously going to help. I'm looking for multiples. There we go, points target reached. So I've already done that, that's par for me. Now, what we want is to get the ace score, new high score. I think we've got ace. Oh, it's, yeah, we do. Oh, it's 145,000 the ace score was. No wonder I hadn't got it before. Um, anyway, yeah, we're home and dry. We don't really need to try too much now. As you can see, as, as it closes up, as the circle closes up, it becomes very, very difficult to aim at. You can obviously get gap bonuses, but beyond that, it can be very challenging. So there we go, new high score, 175k, almost 176k, it's deadly. And uh, now we're going to attempt, re-attempt level 4, the train track level. 
which, again, I haven't lost too much on. The amount of clutches I've had on this level in Iron Frog Gauntlet has been uh, unreal. I don't know, I just, I for some reason, I'm alright at the level. That being said, next time I play I'll probably find it challenging, but, you know, it is challenging, but I always seem to find a way of uh, completing it. Anyway, here we go. So, we need a red for times four, which we obtained. And now we need another yellow for times five. So this is the final level of this episode. And after we complete this, we'll have aced all the initial levels on, uh, on the Peacock's Provocation. I worked out that there's a, well the basic, oh, two things actually, there's a Steam Achievement that requires you to complete Iron Frog Gauntlet in 25 minutes, that's an average of about, what, 2.5 minutes a level, so two, 2 minutes 30 to complete uh, a level. I'm struggling to do that in, you know, the amount of time allotted, which is technically infinite, um, but yeah, I'm struggling to do it in any time, let alone 25 minutes. There was also this other achievement where... It was like a secret achievement. If you typed Moo Moo, I've no, no idea who Moo Moo is, and by Moo Moo I mean M-U-M-U, -M -U, or maybe it's Mama. Yeah, maybe it's Mama. I think I got that wrong. Anyway, you've got to type M-U-M-U -M -U in any level, like on your keyboard, and you get the achievement. It's that simple. I, I'm, I'm just having a look at them randomly. And I noticed that uh, I had that one. Yeah, achievements are cool, because it shows you the achievements of every player. Like, maybe if, if it's a game that hasn't been released exclusively to Steam, like if it's been released on other platforms or in box form or whatever, okay, it doesn't show you the achievements of every player, but if it's a game exclusively to Steam, it will show you the achievements of every player as well. There we go, we've got the points target there. It, yeah, it shows you how well you're doing against them, so it helps you, uh, it helps boost your ego a wee bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but, uh... There you go. Right, times 13. Times 13, 118,000. I think we need 125,000 to get ace. Just a any colour will do with that bonus. We're at 122,000. We should be home and dry at this point. Assuming we don't let the colours run away. 1,000 to go. And there we go. 10 seconds to go. And we've... Uh, manage it. Said that a bit prematurely. Boom! There we go. I knew we'd do it. So there we go. That is the first column of challenge levels. East. And I'll see you next time.